I don't want to be in an environment where I'm expecting the the strength of what is the euro yen bears or the yen itself, Japanese yen bulls. I'm not going to expect that they're going to just change their minds or step away on a dime. That's a big mistake. So I'm going to follow this pattern. I'm going to follow this trend, and even though it may have pierced it ever so slightly, I don't want to lose my opinion of the fact that there is a downtrend and that there is downtrend line resistance. So this area here, again, I've erased the wick of intervention. What does it look like? It looks like a test of the trend. It looks like a test of the, the downtrend line. But this is where I do not want you to get overly aggressive and begin getting long on what looks like a pattern reversal. Because again, at the time, the initial trend was strong. The trend was down. And I'm going to use this area, this trend line, as my trigger for a short. I'm not going to get aggressively long here. If I am going to get long, if I wanted to, my directional bias rules basically tell me that I can't. Because when the directional bias is down, when I've got bearish sentiment and momentum culminating into a bearish trend, I actually can only go counter trend. I can only go long. And there's what the chart looked like. But I could only go long on a short term intraday time frame. I could only go counter trend on the 5, 15, and 30 minute charts. Sometimes, occasionally, I'll make an exception for the 60, but the short term intradays, 5, 15, 30, are my counter trend setups. So if I want to do that, I very well might get a opportunity to get long based upon the trend and chart patterns intraday. But I want to keep in mind that that is a counter trend trade. All right. So my position, the euro yen, took a lot of heat. I understood the context of that heat. And now it's coming back and, and actually now rewarding me in a way that Actually, when I slid over to the opposite side of the room, I actually separate my analysis computer and my trading computer. So I actually was uh, lightening my load, so to speak. I was scaling out of a little bit of my position, realizing some profit so I could trail my stop, and then that way protect what is uh, certainly a winner now, protect it and prevent it from becoming a loser. And you also have to remember that in the, in the backdrop of anything with the yen right now, the, the Bank of Japan is going to saber rattle when they can and allude to their willingness to continue to sell yen into the market. And at this point, I don't know that I actually want to be dealing with that whatsoever. I think there's just far too much going on in the markets right now with the S&P downgrade, with the drama we're seeing in equities. I want to get my bearings before I start getting uh, too long term on the expectations of my trades. Because both those trades are trend following trades on the 240 and the daily. All right. So those are those are the types of considerations I want to make. All right, so having said all that, the dollar yen, as much as the euro yen selling off, the dollar yen really has not been as weak as the euro yen has been. Okay, a couple things going on here. Well, consider what's going on with the euro yen. Consider what's going on with the euro itself. As the dollar rallies again, is weak, the euro is weakening very quickly. And as much as there was an effort to weaken the yen, not so much, right? So the euro is weakening. It's losing ground against the, the yen, which remains really fairly stable. And you're getting that very dramatic push lower. The dollar, on the other hand, today is rallying. So you have what is a stable and fairly 
strong currency in the yen coming up against the the bullishness on the dollar index today and and the dollar yen is kind of holding steady so when I take a look at this chart here the trend is cer certainly down okay there's no question about that but what I want to keep in mind is what are the underlying forces this dollar versus the yen and if the dollar continues to benefit from the risk aversion in the market how do I how do I confirm the risk aversion pre-market we are down at this moment 264 points on the Dow that's going to drive crude oil lower it's going to drive commodities lower it's going to drive the dollar index higher and that environment is one in which I want I question whether or not the yen can continue to gain against the dollar. So in my mind, it's probably best to go ahead and get out of that yen dollar yen position, which I was in, based on the daily. Okay, and right now I'm flat. I'm looking over at my computer, my execution computer. Right now I'm flat, both my euro yen and dollar yen positions. Okay, so everything starts with, and, and let me also show you the power stats and those charts. Now, my favorite way to look at the power stats is to look starting off on the 15 minute time frame because what you'll get then is a look across all the time frames, the projections, the forecast across all the time frames 15, 30, 60, 2, 40 daily. All right. And then I can consider the individual time frame that I'm trading or the one that I'm considering and look at the support and resistance of the price movement range on that individual time frame. But if I want to take a look at all of them at one glance, I'll take a look at that 15 minute chart. So here's the four hour and here's the daily again of the dollar yen. The resistance is actually showing that we could have a push for lower lows. Okay, on the dollar yen. So if anybody's trying to manage this position, you look at the pot potential forecast, that resistance level is actually lining up very nicely with my 34 EMA low. And this is what I love. You know, this is one of the things that helps me manage trades, get into trades when I've got power stat support resistance confirming levels that I would want to execute a trade at. Okay. So even though I'm flat in these positions right now, I'm just showing you that the confirmation of having the resistance of the power stats line up with my wave. There's another example. This is actually even lower than the wave. This is a potential forecast for the euro yen actually which would overlap with past lows on this daily chart. Is there more downside? Absolutely. If you are short this pair, you know, you could just take a taste and exit. Just a small percentage of your position, not necessarily all of it. Okay? That's a choice you, you have. So using these lines and levels of the power stats, can give you a lot of insight into potential support and resistance as could say for example the completed patterns of the auto chartist and the forecast range that accompanies a completed pattern it's not just about where you're getting in it's also about where are you getting out now this level here this forecast area here is actually based upon the what looks to be a a bear flag breakdown. Boom. There's a triangle breakdown here, but there was a bear flag breakdown just above that. And this is the support area that Autochartus is saying that there could be support that will build up. And, and eventually what could happen in this area, as long as the Bank of Japan can continue their saber rattling, is we could potentially transition out of the downtrend and congest in this area. We have been a little bit, but the market trend has not shifted 
in reflection of that quite yet. Not yet. Okay. If anyone does have any questions on what we've covered today and the tools and so forth, of course, you can check out autochartist.com for more information about chart patterns, Fibonacci patterns, as well as the PowerStats software that I was using here today. If you have any questions about the analysis, feel free to leave it at the forexstreet.net blog. Check that out at forexstreet.net. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on one of my alerts. I, I dedicate that blog mainly to power stats and, and chart pattern setups. So you can definitely leave any kind of question about that there. All right, so I hope everyone stays very cautious today. It's going to be an interesting day. The equities market is about five minutes from the open. And we will see how risk appetite unfolds or cowers today and whether or not risk aversion really is here to stay and uh, whether or not this talk of a global bear market is really going to start taking hold of the psyches of investors and traders worldwide. I think today is going to be a very telling day. Everybody have a good day. Be careful, and I will see you on uh, during our, for our next session.